Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to do another unboxing video of another board game that we backed on Kickstarter. And I uh, figure it's appropriate for today being a very snowy New England day here to see some butterflies. <laughs> so to remind us of the warmer weather. So anyway, this is a game called Papillion. Papillion. I guess that's how you pronounce it, or Papillon. Papillion, I think it is. And it's by Colossal Games. Um, we have I thought it was another game we were going to be getting called Consumption, which I think is also by uh, Colossal Games. But uh, this one came first. Um, came I believe it came a little early before the Kickstarter said it was due. I, I think it was supposed to be here until, I want to say January, but it came... Uh, at the end of November, so very pleased with that coming early. And this is a game that reminded us of uh, some tile placement in it, kind of similar to Carcassonne, um, with some other mechanics in it. Um, very nice, uh, um, beautiful game. It has a beautiful uh, table presence, as you'll see. Um, it's by J.B. Howell, and, um, who I believe is the designer, and Whitney Prater, or Raider. Looks like Raider is the um, artist. So let's check it out here. So kind of like the um, other game that we had, the uh, Suburbia. Well, not quite as many things, but uh, this game, this is an original game. Um, it had uh, some stuff on the back of it too, some extra boards and stuff to punch out. So let's take a look at this, see what this is. So it says, through... Though clouds and butterflies have gathered from the meadow, birds, bugs, and other animals also call it home. Each creature provides new challenges for cultivating your garden. Your goal as a gardener is simple. Maintain a balance. Beyond the meadow, oh, this is, I think this is the expansion to this, so it comes with an expansion, contains all of the unlocked stretch goals from Papillion Kickstarter campaign. These modules include predators, birds, fountains, and even a solo variant. Well, that's cool. This expansion also includes new wildfire and bee tiles, as well as 15 goal tiles for even more gameplay options. The Papillon base game is required to use the, the um, contents of this expansion. So this is the expansion on the outside here. So very cool. Um, we did not get the upgraded components, which were the wooden components. Uh, you know, we didn't feel it was necessary for this game. Some games, it's much better with them. Um, this game didn't feel like it was. Um, so, but plenty of other games coming that we do have the upgraded wooden components. So, so all right. So, without further ado, let's check this one out. So, again, it's by Colossal Games, and uh, let's see if we have a. I think the eight age range and everything is on the back of this, which is being covered by this expansion here. So let's uh let's open it up and see what we got. Alright, so this is the there's like a little box here. Um, this folds up I guess for all your tiles. So beyond the meadow expansion, but we'll get into that later. Do the base game first. So, go through those in a minute. There we go. As you can see here, very beautiful tab table presence. Um, so it says a butterfly garden requires vision and caring hand. Spring has arrived and the world is in bloom. As your garden grows, caterpillars will congregate and morph into beautiful butterflies eager for nectar. So basically what you do is you, I think you take these butterflies and you put them on, um, well, caterpillars, I think maybe initially, but butterflies, and you put them on these uh, miniatures here. And um, you clip them on. I think it, each of these butterflies comes with like a little clothespin on them, and uh, they'll go on these beautiful uh, things here. But here is where you build your tile. You, you take your tiles, and you're going to build... Um, your meadows and stuff to get those butterflies and everything. And as you can see, these are some examples of the tiles here. So 94 garden tiles amongst other things. So here's the 
here's your box there. So definitely a, uh, so it's a sleeve. Okay, that's why this is like this. So this must be the, um, the sleeve, which was an add on uh, stretch goal, I think. So nice sleeve there. See, this was the actual box right here. So let's see if they have an age on this one here. Um, let's see it there. Oh, there it is. Two to four players, it looks like. But again, the expansion there added the solo variant. So let's take a look and see what we got inside the box. So definitely, I think what interested us in this was the uh, similar the similar themes to like the tile building, but. Also, it's just a different theme type of game. We, I like the different themes of these games. So, now these are very thin right here, um, butterflies, but they kind of have to be to, to attach to the uh, cardboard um, trees and stuff. So they kind of have to be thin. They can't weigh a lot. So that is some of the butterflies that go on. So again, very thin, but makes sense in this case let's take a look at the oh, let's see what this is so that's beyond the meadow um, we'll take a look at that when we look at the uh, expansion but let's look at the base game first so we have the rule book here so it's not a very thick rule book but let's get some components as usual and there's some examples of how to score I think so again, you're going to want to complete your meadows and things like that in order to score butterflies and worms and all that fun stuff. So that's that's the main player board, which you're going to have an auction. There's also an auction in it, um, which is kind of a, a little bit of a unique auction style thing. But uh, And there's a timer. The worms, uh, the gnomes act as the timer. Garden gnomes. So it shows you how the auction works and everything, how to prepare everything, bidding. And drafting phase, caterpillars, gnomes, gardening phase. And you want to close these up in order to score them. Pollination phase. And then the end of the round. And the end of the round cleanup. It's pretty basic stuff. Uh, end of the game scoring. So you're going to score your flowers, your remaining caterpillars, butterflies, enclosed fields, largest patches, etc., etc. All right. And then game round. So basically, it's preparation phase. Drafting phase, gardening phase, and then pollination phase. Those are your different phases. And it's like a summary of everything. And then on the back here is the expert variant, which is always nice. So that's some more replayability to the game. And let's see what this one is. Oh, this looks like another language here. I'm not sure what language this is, but... It's definitely a, another language. Maybe French, possibly, I don't know. I think it might be French. Or French Canadian, maybe. <laughs> All right, now here is the board. So again, not the thickest, but good enough. This is the main board here. You put your gnomes down here, and those will be for the rounds, and then your worms up here. So depending upon how you bid, you can get some of the worms, which will hatch into the butterflies. And then this is the back scoring track, so you flip it over and do the end of game scoring like a lot of games do. This shows you how to do the end of game scoring right there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, cool insert, I'll have to show you that later, but... And this is, this is cool. Some nice little um, plastic. I like these. 
nice little plastic uh, containers here. I wish some other games would have these in it, but I think these are to put your butterflies and tokens in and everything, but very nice. Very, th very thin, but lightweight, but I think sturdy enough to hold everything in it, so that's very nice. So it makes cleanup a little easier and uh, set up. So you get a couple of these, one, two, looks like three, four of these. Everything fits in here so nice, it seems. And of course you get your score pad. I always like these when games include these on it, so how to score everything. So decent thickness right here, we'll make some copies of this, but double-sided too, which is nice. But plenty of these to start with. And it looks like you get your stickers here. What do we get here? So these are your, oh, these must be for the, maybe the bases of the, of the uh, flowers there, trees. Kind of looks like that. Uh, oh, these are your tiles. Wow, these are smaller than I thought they'd be. Definitely not like Carcassonne, smaller. So very small. That's all right, functional and everything though. Definitely smaller than I thought they would be. So it takes up less table space, so that's still all right. And then these right here, I think these came in wooden tokens in the, uh, of course these are just extras, I think, maybe. Actually, no, they're not. So, well, maybe they are, I don't know. Some of these are blank and some of them have birds on them. But they're double-sided for the most part. And then, yeah, these, I think, yeah, these definitely came in wooden ones. And some of the rodents in here. Caterpillars. Looks like little weasels. And other things. Here are some of your butterflies there. Some more insects and other vermin that can attack your flowers. Not as many. Well, I think most of the other tiles are probably on the outside. So I, don't, I think that's not all um, expansion material on the outside. I thought it was, but I don't think it is. I think it's part part of the base game still. Some more of these. These are just single-sided. And you get some cards here, which I think are kind of like end game objectives and stuff. See if I can open this. All right. All right, so let's check out some of these cards. Some three nectar each enclosed flower patch size three or larger. You get three nectar for. I think nectar are your victory points. One nectar. These aren't. I don't think these are linen finish, but we'll be sleeving them anyway, so not a big deal. Yeah, that's it. So this is goal. Yeah, so these are goals. So it's different goals you can get in the game. So yeah. So yeah, see these are all goals here, and then these are different predators. So let's check out some of those. Some more goals here. And then these are the predators, so I think. I don't know if these you play in the regular base game or you can do them with the expansion. So you got your ants, of course, your other types of predators. Snake, oh, that's, that's what it is, a snake. Spiders, frogs, and flies. And it kind of goes into so we can focus this up. So it shows you how to play with each one of these, I think. Okay, so it adds different modes to the game by playing with the uh, predators. Snakes there. I thought it was almost one of those citronella 
candles I used to be able to buy at the drive in there that you burn and it's like a coil. That's kind of what it looks like. Spider. Okay. Frog toads. Wasp, actually, that's a wasp. Okay, that makes more sense. Ants. Dragonfly, that's what it was. I was trying to think of the name of that. Ant yeah, dragonfly. And your gophers. And your lizards. Praying mantis. All right, cool. And of course your bags. And then a little draw bag, kind of a small one here. And oh yeah, here we go. So here are your butterflies. Looks like some of them are, oh, they didn't come off, so I'll show you some of these. These are very cool. So. There you go. So you got like a little close spin and these on the end. So I imagine some of these will come off, but they're very light. They're wooden. Close spins are wooden and these are kind of cardboard. But they look like they're fairly uh, good shape. I'm sure some of them will come off. But these must have been fun to put together. Show you a couple more of them. But these are, you'll clip onto the trees. Show you maybe one more color. There you go. A very nice table presence this game has. So you got a whole bunch of these, so a whole big bag of these. Which is very cool. And some more plastic bags. Another draw bag, and this is nice. Nice like silky looking type bag. Papillion. Double sided. Nice. Very nice. And I think that is... Oh, these are little stands for your trees and stuff, I think. And nice insert. Very nice. Looks like everything fits in here nicely. And all right, let's show you some of the uh, expansion. Well, and other tiles in there. Let's see if I can get this to stand up. Yeah, there you go. All right, so beyond the meadow, some other components for that. Here, oh, these are the predator tokens are. Bird bath standees. So oh, there's bird baths in this too. Some of, some of that stuff might have been bird baths. Yeah, so some of these were inside the bag. And yep, yeah, so that's part of the predator expansion, predator tokens. Actually, most of the ints. So it looks like most of the Predator stuff, all that stuff was inside the box and the regular part of the game was in, was outside the box. So I see. But yeah, very nice artwork and everything. Shows you how to use each one of the modules. And you get your gnomes for the rounds. How to set everything up. Different phases. Little trees there. And imagine the solar variant is in here somewhere. Let's flip it through it again. Might have been in the other one. I might not have seen it. That must be. Okay. All right. And let's check out the punch outs here. These are the trees right here. We're going to be building. Very nice. More small little. Well, these aren't tiles. These are actually more butterflies. Looks like butterflies on these. And then. Looks like these will go on the trees here. Let's see if I can get one off here. These don't. 
So there you go. So it's got letters on it. Shows you how to put them together. So we'll be putting together stuff here. All right, put that on the side. And this is cool right here. Here's all the tiles. Again, very small tiles, but cool nonetheless. Makes a pattern just in and of itself. So you want to go and want to enclose your butterflies in there to capture them, to score your points. More tiles here. And here are some more of the trees. Some bushes there, how to, how to attach them. So I'll have to, so it looks like a little bit more setup than usual, so we'll figure these out. And the box has got the insert in it, so when you put the trees in, they don't fall apart or break, imagine. So very nice. And your worms and, sorry, caterpillars and uh, gnomes here. And here are your bases for your trees there. So you score victory points if you have the most butterflies on them. Seven for the first place, three for second place, and two for third place, depending upon the player count. Certain ones score. More worm tokens, uh, caterpillar tokens. And again, these were wooden in the uh, deluxe version, but didn't feel like we needed that. And then your box here to put everything in, as we mentioned before. So that's it, pretty much. That is it. We got some construction here to put stuff together, but very pleased overall. As usual, can't wait to get this one to the table and try it out. And dream of spring, especially with all this snow coming down. So very cool. Very happy with this. And we wanted to uh, show you off the miniatures here. The the not miniatures, but the little trees, uh, flowers, and everything. Um, I figured we put this in and show you it after we um, put together each one of these. So we have there's four different kinds, and there's two of each one of these. And um, as you can see right here, probably I don't know these little numbers on here. Again, third place, first place gets the biggest number, then it's the middle number, and then it's the Lowest number, depending upon how many players, you can have up to three people getting um, rewards, victory points. And these are the little bird bats you can you put together. So very cool, though. And uh, I wanted to show you a little bit how these go on. So if you take your butterflies here, once you're in them, you just basically put the clip here and put it right there. So you get a butterfly on there. And then you can take this one right here and put it right. Let's see if I can show it to you a little bit better. So there's a butterfly on that one too. And we'll put one over here on this one, the pink, little pink one. And we'll put a green one over here. Why not? We'll put it, this one kind of upside down. So very cool. Very cool. Um, definitely like this uh definitely nice aesthetics in this one I'll throw another one up there another green one there you go and so whoever has the most butterflies on the each one will get a victory point well victory points oops that one came off a little bit but you get the idea but very very cool definitely uh Definitely nice uh, production value in this game. So that's it. So I'm going to show you this and we'll finish the video now. Bye-bye now. So that is Papillon. Papillion, however you want to say it. By Colossal Games. Thank you for joining us. We're Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. And we will see you in the next unboxing. And that's going to be it for a little while, I think. Um, we'll probably be... Um, playing some uh, sports related games because as a being Thanksgiving just happened we're gonna have some uh, um, we're gonna be purchasing we already purchased some some uh, seasons and some new games we're gonna try fourth Street hockey and football too so different things coming to the channel but this is papillion another board game again by colossal games.
So take care and God bless. And we will see you in the next unboxing video. Take care. Bye-bye.